Hi guys, back in the hobby room again and I was just about to do a little work on the engine and I thought I'd go through it uh, and maybe give a little tutorial on how I do uh, the engine pulleys and the belt uh, because a lot of times you run into kits where they're all one piece and everything uh, gets usually painted one color or you spend a lot of time trying to paint the pulleys different than the black belt. So, for the most part, I do um, my own belts. Let's see if you can see this. I do my own belts um, on my engines now. So I thought I'd go through that a little bit. Uh, first thing I do is make a template of the pulley system. I'll just trace around it and kind of give myself an idea of where the pulleys go so I can refer to that and get it close to what it should be. Uh, then I will just go through and cut all the pulleys uh, away from the belt. Then you're left with your pulleys and I have all of these cut and sanded just took a sanding stick and rounded them out and then I uh, I've painted these uh, a little different color than the uh, belt so it'll stick out a little bit doesn't really matter what uh, engine you're working on you can cut the pulleys off just about every one of them so, after I get the pulleys sanded, round, painted, I've got to do, uh, I've got to get it lined up. So now, I'm going to start with the bottom pulley. And I'll just mount that in there. A little glue and... mount that pulley in there okay and you'll notice I already have the alternator on and it's pulley and I'll show you uh, what I do I've got the power steering unit over here and usually that thing seems like it's just hanging uh, off of this end it's just hanging there doesn't have any mounting brackets or anything so I do my own so I've got the power steering unit here and all I did was drill holes I just took my pin vise drilled holes through here and I took some wire and I made pins. So now I can take my engine and if you can see there's two holes right here on the right side that'll line up with this. So now I can just slide those into the holes so the pulley isn't just hanging there. Uh, maybe I can slide it in there. It's not wanting to slide very easily. We'll fix that real quick. You've got it so now when I put this on, see if I can get in frame here, now you've got a bracket per se right there at the top right there you can see that little bracket and it holds the uh, power steering unit right where you need it to be 
So we can mount that pulley on that one. Just a dab of CA glue. Okay. Okay, so. All right, so now we've got pulleys are mounted. This needs to come out just as skosh. So it makes it adjustable also. So I can line up my pulleys with my bottom pulley. So now everything's lined up. So the belt will go right around it. And the last one, and this one, it's got to go right up top. So we will pop that in there, hopefully. There we go, we got that. All right, so now I had to uh, make a special piece for this because I'm doing a different fan assembly. I'm doing the photo etched fan, so. I had to make a little different because uh, I'm doing the photo etched fan here and that'll hopefully slide right over this piece after we're done. So now once you get all the pulleys mounted, get everything pinned into place, I had a belt material is very simply just I took a piece of two inch masking tape and I folded it in half and made sure it was flat so then I get on my piece of glass and I will take my razor knife and just very easily cut real nice and easy and shazam we have the belt material so now that we've got the belt material instead of taking paint I cheat and all I do is on a piece of glass I just color the belt material and it's good. So then I want to start mounting the uh, belts. And so if you look at my template here, this belt goes on the bottom. It's on the inside. So we want to mount. So we want just a dab of glue. right on the bottom of that pulley. Take your belt material and lay it right on the inside here. Get it tacked down. Let it dry a little bit. Once you get that dry you can start running the belt from pulley to pulley. So I would run it up to this one and tack it on and glue it. 
then I would run it around to this one and all the way around. So now that's just quick and dirty version but you can see you got a belt and you just wrap it around each pulley you can even pull it tight and just get it glued into place the way you want to then you get a nice contrast of your belt you can see on the side here you get a nice contrast of that belt and pulley right there you can even do different things if you want you can make up your own configurations whatever you want but once it's uh, glued down just make sure it's tagged down good and there you have it your own fan belts made out of your own pulleys and everything came in the box and after that's all done you can do your touch up or whatever or put on your after I get the belts on I'm gonna put this little guy on here maybe It used to fit through there. Anyway, that's how you do the belts. It's pretty simple. It's a little time consuming, but I think the end result is uh, so much nicer uh, than trying to paint this thing. These, these drove me nuts for years, and usually we just all paint them black and, and move on. Uh, but I got tired of that. So, uh, hopefully this was helpful. Again, appreciate all you guys subscribing and commenting and watching and uh, giving me your feedback. Um, I will be doing an update on the chargers. As soon as I get this engine done, I'm going to start putting this thing together and try to get these things done hopefully before I go on vacation. Heading down uh, Staggering Junkies way. Gonna head down uh, to Oregon Oregon beaches for a while and take a little break. So hopefully I get some work done on these chargers before that. Uh, in the meantime you guys take it easy. Keep up the good work. Keep watching those videos. Keep putting those videos out. I love seeing them. So, till next time, have a good one.